All right, I bought two more American Girl dolls, but hear me out. They were like 30% off on Amazon, and you know I'm not gonna pass up a bargain. So today we're gonna do a quick, casual unboxing because I need to get these things out of my foyer. Because the other day, a neighbor that I don't even know knocked on my door and I forgot that I had a huge pile of dolls on my entryway table. And I know she saw them because when I answered the door, she was like, hi, I'm looking for my dog. She got out of the yard and I, uh... Uh, wondered if you had seen her. And I was like, oh, uh, I guess I'll let you know if I see her. Uh, okay, bye. So yeah, hopefully getting jabbed by pitchforks doesn't hurt too much. Like, I'm literally this guy. These are my dolls. I've been collecting them for years. So, welcome to my, like, 12 billionth American Girl doll unboxing. <laughs> Surprise, it's twins. So, I got these on Amazon because, like I said before, they were running a pretty big sale. Again, I think it was just a random spring sale. And if you keep an eye on Amazon or my Instagram account at iDreamofJohnny, uh, Amazon every once in a while will have sales on American Girl dolls. And these ended up, I think they were about $79. So uh, that's a really great deal because I ended up getting two Truly Me number 121, whom I've had my eye on for a while for a couple of reasons. I really, really love the jaw sculpt. I think it's a really, really beautiful sculpt. And I really wanted to kind of get my hands on one of the Truly Me dolls that had it because I'm thinking about doing a mini me doll uh, with the like this jaw sculpt as the like base for it. So that's why I ended up getting two of them because I thought maybe I would want to have one just you know, all original 121 for my collection and then have another one to kind of play around with and make a custom boy doll with. So yeah, I got two because they were so cheap. And truthfully, like, okay, so, so any of you that have ordered off of Amazon before, if you buy dolls, you'll notice that half of the time, but not all the time, they will ship you a doll. Like they will just wrap tape around the doll's box and just throw it in the mail. And I just realized my address is on here, but like this literally, like this wasn't put in a shipping box. And the crazy thing about it is one, I ordered two, right? So I thought maybe if I ordered two dolls, they would probably put them in a box together and it would save me the trouble of having a really like up doll box. And what they ended up doing was they put this one in a gigantic box that you could easily fit two dolls in, possibly four. And then they put this one like all dog in the mail so my box is all messed up so that's one thing to be aware of if you buy these things on Amazon they are notorious for just like throwing them in the mail with a shipping label on them and so you don't like it screws up your doll box which really sucks and this is dirty which is going to drive me insane so this box will probably just go in the trash honestly so Anyway, at least I have like one freshly clean one. So so anyway, I wanna get them out of the box quickly. Like I said, I have so much mail piled up in the front of my house that is starting to become a problem. So I'm considering this video partly like a cleaning video as well, because again, there are just so many boxes. Like the doll mail is piling up. I need to stop buying stuff, but this is such a pretty doll. I really, really love this sculpt. I'm gonna try and reach around the microphone here so you can see her face up close, but I guess, you know, I just think this doll is so pretty. I remember when they released Maritza with the World by Us collection. I really, really loved that doll. And I think she was probably pretty popular too. And I think that's probably why they made a Truly Me that was really similar to her. And from what I can tell, she's really popular. Everybody, um, when I like ran a poll on Instagram saying, hey, should I buy this? Like it was like overwhelmingly yes. And I was getting a lot of messages from people that have them and like have 121 and really love her. And a lot of people have um, done mini me's with them. So I, again, I think this is such a beautiful sculpt. I, in, I guess this is kind of a hot take, but I kind of feel like they should just get rid of the classic mold at this point. I think it looks weird after all these years, they've made too many changes to it. So I don't know, it doesn't even look like the original mold anymore. And you know, it just doesn't look that great on a lot of dolls. And I think the jaw sculpt is so similar to it that I think it would just be a good replacement, maybe even with a couple of tweaks or something. But I don't know, I just think it's similar to classic mold, but it's just a little bit nicer looking than the current one. So I don't know, that's probably a pretty hot take. Like, I don't know if I can imagine like Samantha and Molly with that sculpt, but honestly the new ones look kind of crazy to me anyway. So we'll see. 
All right, I'm doing my normal thing where I try and get these things out of the boxes without like destroying any of the packaging. But I think the second one I'm just gonna tear into because the box is going in the trash anyway. But bear with me while I get this out of the box. I am getting a little bit faster at this, but while I'm doing this, I will say, if for some reason you run into the same issue that I did where you get a doll that's just again shipped in the mail with no box and her doll box is messed up and if you bought her on sale for instance uh, like I did if you get the doll in the mail and the doll is no longer on sale and you want to exchange it for a good one unless I got a customer rep that didn't know what they were talking about they were telling me if I wanted to just exchange the one I got that was messed up in the mail for a new one that wasn't messed up that I was gonna have to pay the difference between the sale price and the original retail price because by the time the doll arrived in the mail the price had gone back up to $115 so they were like yeah you're gonna have to pay like what is that $35 to get your dollar place which is so stupid right so keep that in mind if you're really really worried about that so I don't know the way I collect you know I really like things to be mint condition and just you know I don't really like play with my dolls or do photo shoots or things like that with them. I typically, you know, I might put them in a different outfit here or there, but I really like them to be display worthy. So, you know, it just, it kind of bugs me when their packaging is all messed up. Cause I'm telling you, like, I'm such a freak about this that like, I'll get like a dumb, truly me outfit on sale for like literally like $5. And I still like want to like protect the packaging and keep it um, like basically in like a box like stored away. I'm just weird like that. Some people are just like that and some uh, other people are, you know, some other normal people are like, why would you keep trash? So um, that's just me. That's what I do. I guess I am trash. So I like to keep trash. All right. So I've got her limbs loose from the box and we're going to do my favorite part which is releasing her I, I guess this is called a neck strap i'm not sure but it always does this little pop that i always find so satisfying i'm gonna put her really close to the mic and see if we get a good pop this time <laughs> yeah that is seriously my favorite part of this entire process so all right she is free from the box looking super cute we'll take her i don't know what these are her little gloves off and the protective leg warmers around her feet my partner just sneezed in the other room i don't know if you can hear it but it's allergy season in north carolina and we're not used to it because it's not that bad in oregon but in north carolina like everything is like coated and like yellow powder right now so we are dying <laughs> anyway let's get her leg warmers off all right and now it's time to take the hair net off i think this might actually be the better of the two dolls so i probably should be a little bit more careful with her but i'm gonna have to figure out which one i'm gonna customize but for now time to pay attention because the hair net's coming off so i don't know it always i always say that and i'm like okay now give me five minutes to like actually get a hold of it so I don't know it's they're on here pretty tight and i'm putting like a thousand shine marks on her forehead with my fingernail trying to get this thing off i'm holding her like a football player like i'm like down set hook if you're enjoying the video so far don't forget to check out my patreon at patreon.com slash i dream of johnny i post multiple videos there every single month and it's all content you can't find anywhere else on the internet we're talking hours and hours worth of content. I show off my obscure American girl finds, I talk about drama in the doll community, and I open all the mail that you don't see on the YouTube channel. We have a really great community over there and I'd love for you to join us. It's the best thing you can do to help support my channel so I can keep making these videos. And best of all, it costs almost nothing. So what are you waiting for? Also, while I'm at it, be sure to check out my shop at idreamofjohnny.com where you can get tons of awesome merch and the occasional vintage item. All right, that's my sales pitch. Back to me. Oh my God, I can't get this hairnet off. I'm like pulling little chunks of her hair out through it. Like I'm trying to give her really bad 90s highlights. I'm seriously about to cut this thing off. Oh, nope, here it comes. Okay, all right. She will no longer be a lunch lady in three, two, one. All right. Oh, I actually like the length of her hair. So I don't know why, but I've really not been into dolls with really long hair lately. I have no idea why. There's one of the new Truly Me dolls that I like that's really blonde, but her hair is too long for my liking. So that's one of the reasons I didn't get her, at least yet. But I just really love hair length. It's like basically down to the like shoulders or um, like their elbows. I don't know. It just looks a little bit more in scale with a doll this size. But yeah, she's really cute. I will say her wig is probably not the best. Just a quick update from the editing room. I actually had some time to mess with the hair on these dolls last night and it actually is pretty good. So I complain about the wigs a few times in this video, but 
just know that actually with a little bit of work, like just running your fingers through it and separating the curls and stuff, this is actually a pretty good wig and I'm very happy with them. So yeah, the few times that you hear me complain about it, you can just ignore that because I actually really love these dolls, including their wigs. Okay, bye. Now, I don't know if Amazon gets sort of the like B grade dolls or not, because I believe it's American Girl that's shipping them to them, obviously. So I don't know if they're doing any sort of like triage process, like saying like, okay, well, we'll send all of like, <laughs> yeah, again, like the mid dolls to Amazon because, you know, half the time they end up on sale. So I don't know. Um, her hair's not bad, but it does, it definitely looks like a little bit on the thin side, but because it's curly, it probably will still look okay. But yeah, not the best wig in the world, I have to say. A lot of flyaways and like little crunchy things. Let's see if you can see it a little bit better. If I lean in, I'm probably shouting into the microphone, but yeah, maybe we'll see if the other one has a better wig on her. Again, I don't want to make it sound like this is terrible, but I have to say this is not the best American Girl wig I've ever seen. She's really cute though. So yeah, before I mess her hair up any further, I'm going to set her aside and I'll quickly get the other one out of the box and we can kind of compare because it's always kind of fun to see the subtle differences between dolls when you order the same doll because no two American Girl dolls look alike. Again, you can order two from the same batch and they always tend to look a little bit different. So let's get the other one out of the box and we'll compare and contrast. All right, because the box is so dirty on this other one, I'm gonna just kind of like cut everything out. Again, this box is so messed up. I'm not gonna keep it. I'll probably just use it as a shipping box. So yeah, I'm gonna be a kind of a normal person today. Well, as normal as I can be and actually just cut this doll out of the box. This is seriously the first time I've ever done this, especially like having now bought, I feel like maybe a dozen dolls from American Girl directly and been able to unbox them like this. I think this is literally the first time I've ever cut these things and it's a lot easier, but I even still as screwed up as this box is, I'm still like, Ugh. but yeah, I'm trying not to rub it all over the table again because it's so nasty. All right, quick neck pop. All right, because I'm a freak, I'm gonna go wash my hands really quickly so I don't get male dirt all over this doll and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I have nice clean hands. So to look at this one, she I, when I saw her in the box, I thought she might be a little bit cross-eyed because that's pretty common for this face sculpt. I remember a lot of the Maritza dolls had sort of a cross-eyed look to them, which I personally think is actually really cute. I don't mind it, um, but I know a lot of people really like their dolls to be as symmetrical and just, like even looking as possible. So sometimes like one eye that sort of points inward can annoy some people. But again, to me, it's like, uh, it adds some personality to them. So I kind of like it when they have a little bit like of a crossed eye. So yeah, we're gonna quickly get this padding off of her. Again, all that's going in the trash. So yeah, another really beautiful doll. Hopefully we get a slightly better wig on this one, but I'm not hopeful. So let me try and get her lunch lady hairnet off. One of these days I will perfect this method, but today is not that day. All right, hairnet number two coming off. And yeah, we pretty much have the same wig as the other one. Yeah, I don't know. Again, it's totally fine, especially for kids. It's totally fine, but I don't know. It just looks a little crunchy and chunky, almost like it kind of reminds me of Barbie. Or they don't have wigs, but like Barbie's hair, you know, and again, it's a different scale, different material and everything. But the newer Barbies that I've gotten, like from the Barbie Rewind, Barbie Rewind collection, they have like really like, I don't know, sculpted like crunchy hair because they put like gel or some sort of hair product in it to hold its shape. And this almost has that look because like right out of the box, this wig again, doesn't look fantastic. I think with a little bit of zhuzhing, it'll probably be fine, but yeah, it's gonna need a little bit of work. But again, this is such a pretty doll. I really do like her. Here's kind of a more close up look at her so you can see. Just stunningly beautiful. I really, really love the eyes on this doll. But again, yeah, I certainly, I don't think would upset me if they swapped out the classic mold for this. Cause to me, this looks so much better than classic does right now. All right, let's grab your sister and we'll compare. We'll do what all good parents do is we will take both kids and we'll compare them and scrutinize them and say, which one is better than the other. I will say overall, there might be very, very subtle differences, but these dolls look almost identical to each other. And again, I think that's something that American Girl has probably strived to improve over the years. And we're talking decades, right? Like if you buy dolls off of eBay from the 80s, every single one, they're gonna look almost like different doll lines because they are so 
different between like pulls from the mold basically so yeah you could get a samantha or molly or kirsten from the same batch from like 1987 and those dolls will look completely different to each other which personally is why i think collecting very early pleasant company is so fun because it's not only a challenge to find rare things but it's also a challenge to find one that you just really really like and is in mint condition and all of that stuff so um it's not so much that the case with that anymore especially seeing two dolls from the same batch i mean they actually look like twins so it's probably going to be difficult to pick one to basically completely break down and turn into a mini me and if you know i don't know i again i say this every time i open brand new american girl dolls sometimes i end up keeping them and sometimes i'm like why did i buy this it, well i know why because it was on sale but you know it's just like i don't really need this in my collection because so much of what i do is like vintage 80s pleasant company this is just for fun you know and especially like i said when there's a sale like i feel like when you get a doll for 79 dollars brand new that feels free to me because, you know, I'm the kind of person that has paid thousands of dollars for one single vintage American Girl doll. So yeah, these just seem like for fun and I get to in some ways enjoy them more because I don't have to worry about like, um, you know, keeping their hair in mint condition or like making sure that they don't get, um, I don't know, just screwed up. I can ha like enjoy these more, I feel like. So yeah, I really intend to do that, like I said, with the boy doll. I've been wanting a mini me for a while, and I started by buying some boy dolls when they had their end of year sale. Um, I guess it was in December, and so I started getting some of the boy dolls, and I just, they're not my favorite. I have to say they're not my favorite. I don't love that they have made the choice to do like closed mouths on the boy dolls and open mouths on the girl dolls because again it just doesn't make any sense right it's just an idea that they had that they kind of stuck with because of how they made logan i think but ultimately i just don't quite love how they changed the sculpts to make the boy dolls so yeah i have a 104 that i haven't even taken out of the box yet because i keep looking at him going like i really don't like the way his face looks because a it's classic mold which I don't really like these days like I just went on a huge rant on I think they've changed it too much and it doesn't look right to me and then on top of that they've like closed the mouth and done some alterations to it anyway so it just he looks kind of strange to me so I would rather just have a mini me that has more of a like classic look um like you know just that classic look of an American Girl doll because they're like buck teeth are one of their like hallmarks you know that's I, you know I think I heard something on TikTok where somebody described like they said their brother described American Girl dolls as the beaver dolls because they have like the buck teeth. So to me, it just doesn't feel like, unless it's Kaya, does not feel like an American Girl doll without the two front teeth. So I don't know. That's why I kind of feel like it might be fun to take my favorite current sculpt and just, you know, have a brand new doll and customize it into a mini me. So yeah, let's see if I could get them a little bit closer so you can see them side by side. But they are incredibly similar like i said i'm really gonna have to sit and examine them to figure out which one i think should be the mini me so i have already lost track of which doll is which um so that's how similar they look and it kind of reminds me of that full house episode where uncle jesse was left to look after nikki and alex by himself and he like got them mixed up and didn't know which one was nikki and which one was alex and that was the whole debacle for that episode and they ended up having to i think use their feet prints to identify who was who i don't remember um but yeah that's kind of how i feel about these two so i completely forgot what i was talking about but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put them in some better outfits because i definitely agree with the vast majority of adult collectors that do not care for these t-shirt dresses especially this one again i don't want to dunk on american girl in this entire video i mean i just got these dolls for like 79 dollars each i should be grateful i guess but yeah, we'll go ahead and change their outfits because it's always fun to actually see them in like quote unquote real clothes because this isn't real clothes. This is what they've done to try and com combat inflation. Like the only reason these dolls aren't like $175 is because they stick them in the worst, cheapest outfits that they can. And I kind of get it, honestly. You know, it, you're kind of faced with a choice of basically being forced to buy an outfit for a high price or being forced to buy an outfit for a cheap price. So I think it's fine, you know, again, not my favorite. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna try and put them in some 90s looks. I have a lot of mix and match stuff from, I don't know, a lot of different things. We kind of looked at it in a couple videos ago where I was unboxing a lot of stuff that I got. 
I think with a lot of points, I keep ending up, I, don't, I swear their point system is messed up because I'm like, how do I have $40 in rewards? I feel like the last order I did, I got everything for free. And I don't know, I'm not questioning it, but I'm always getting free American Girl stuff. So yeah, anyway, my plan with my mini me, if I even have much of one, I think what I might end up doing is taking the wig off of my Truly Me. I think the number is 104. It's the blonde boy doll with like the flipped front hair, which is so funny because I actually had that haircut in high school. Um, I'm thinking about basically taking his wig and putting it on one of these dolls and swapping out the eyes, obviously, for... I'm trying to figure out what to do about the eyes, actually, because my eyes are mostly blue, but I have heterochromia, so my right eye is half green. And so that makes it kind of hard to like make a mini me. And on top of that, I have like a shaved head, which is really hard to do on an American Girl doll. And um, I also have a beard, which I is very difficult to make look correct on an American Girl doll as well. So I don't know. I probably will have to maybe just do like the nine-year-old version of myself as the mini me, which a lot of people do. And it makes sense too, right? Because these dolls are sculpted to look like nine or 10-year-olds. So that might ultimately have to be my plan, even though I think it would be really fun to have one that looks more like I do now. So I don't know, maybe I'll buy a flocking kit and use that to like put a beard on the doll. I'm not sure. I probably will make my mind up last minute, do it and it'll look terrible and I'll regret my entire existence. But yeah, I'm still just trying to figure it out. But one of the things also that I'm trying to figure out too is if I can actually put like older Pleasant Company eyes in a doll like this because I've never taken the paint out of eyes like this and I'm gonna assume that because they don't silver like they used to, that it's probably really hard to get that paint out of the eyes so that it can be repainted. I'm not sure. So I have a few things to figure out, like I said, but again, I've seen a few custom boy dolls made with the jaw sculpt and I really, really like them. So I think that that's what I'm gonna go with. Although it might be a fun thing to do in the comments. If you have an idea of what might be a good sculpt for my face from the American Girl line, like do I look more like a Joss or a Classic or a Josefina? Which uh, of the American Girl, Girl sculpts do you think looks the most like me? I'm actually kind of curious. It's, that's a fun kind of quiz to take, I think. So I'm really curious what all of your opinions are on which one I should do, even though I'm likely just gonna go with Joss because it's my favorite. I'm curious because sometimes I think like, oh, maybe Josefina, I don't know. So. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments which one I should do if I don't do this one. But yeah, I have a bunch of separates and boy outfits and stuff now, so I feel like it's kind of time to put together a mini me. And again, I wanted to try and get a doll on sale for really cheap so that if I completely <laughs> screw it up, I'm not going to be as upset. I will say the wigs on these dolls aren't shedding that much, and I think that's probably due, due to the fact that they are curly haired. Like, it's usually like the straight haired dolls, like, um... My Truly Me 124, the one with the Corinne sculpt, is still shedding. She's shedding so much hair and it's annoying because I she's one of my favorites, if not my favorite Truly Me doll that I currently have, like even including these. So um, yeah, it's very annoying because I'm constantly like just changing her outfit while I'm fidgeting at my computer if I'm like on a call or something. So um, yeah, her hair is like always falling out. So it's super annoying. But I think that when dolls have like curlier or like more textured hair, the their hair tends to not fall out as much. So these really aren't shedding that much at all. So here's outfit number one, a very 90s inspired look, I think, because that's my favorite era of fashion. So I have her in the green plaid skirt from, I think it's the Irish World Traveler set. I'm gonna look really ignorant right now if I got that wrong, but I've got that. I've got the boots from that set as well. These are the socks from Kit's birthday set that they re-released. And this is also from a re-release. This black turtleneck is from Nikki Hoffman's red vinyl jumper outfit, which again is a reboot of the meat outfit from I always mix this up. I think it's 1998. Um, the 1998 meet out for the, I think they were still American Girl of Today at the time. I think that was right before they changed it to Just Like You. So yeah, I think this is a really cool outfit. Again, very 90s looking. Let me grab her a pair of sunglasses because I love putting eyewear on dolls. So yeah, she's ready to go to a Letters to Cleo concert and I have to say I would love to join her. All right, and I might as well dress doll number two while we're at it. I have to say the quality of these shoes isn't like terrible. I just don't like the colors of them, but the quality of them is really good. And I do love that they kind of just pop off because they're just elastic. That's pretty cool. Again, I'm hoping with a little bit of like messing around 
I can get these wigs or one of the wigs to look a little bit better. I still haven't like really looked at them up close to figure out which of these I'm gonna basically customize. But for now, I'll probably just enjoy them as twins. I'm probably not gonna do the mini me like in the next couple of weeks or so. I have a lot on my plate, not only in real life, but with this channel as well. So um, yeah, at some point I'll do it, but it's probably, I don't know, in the next couple months, unless y'all are like, really jonesing to see a mini me video um i don't know is that something y'all like watching like if i do customize the doll do you want me to like walk you through it just with all of the decisions i've made and doing the actual customizing itself let me know if you want to see that because if you don't i'm not going to make it because it's going to be a real pain in the ass to make a video like that but if you really want to see it i'll make it all right we're starting with the american girl of today logo tee again i think this is from the hoffman twins historical set I only have one of these, but I really would like to get more of them because I think they're only $12. And again, a really fun thing to put on your dolls. Again, it's I think it would be fun to like kind of line them all up with like just a pair of jeans and this t-shirt. That would make a really fun picture, I think. Um, and again, just a classic look. All right, and I'm putting the overalls on her because I really like these. I don't know if it's gonna suit her or not, but I had them out and I really like them, so that's what she's getting. I will say that they've gotten really good at making these shoes a lot easier to put on and tie and stuff too because like trying to put Molly's shoes on, um, you know, from like, again, her meat shoes, it like drives me insane trying to get those Mary Janes on her feet. Like it's literally like an art form to try and get them on. And like her Oxford shoes, for instance, or her um, saddle shoes, trying to tie those laces seriously, like you have to be a master like crocheter to even be able to do it. I swear it takes me like 10 minutes to do. So here is the other, actually, you know what? I do like this. So this is the other outfit. We've got the overalls from Nikki's skating set. We've got the boots from Nikki's uh, red vinyl jumper. And again, we have the classic American Girl Today logo tee. So really simple outfit, but I really like this. This is so cute. So yeah, here are my two 90s girls. Like I said, I've kind of gotten obsessed with basically just making a 90s wardrobe for my American Girl dolls to all share. So this was really fun to put together today. I'm gonna give you one last look up close at their faces because I want to know your opinion on which one I should customize into making a mini me. So I'm not sure if I should do it with the, my favorite one or if I should do it with my least favorite of the two because I think they're so similar. I might have to just pick the one that has like the better wig and keep her as 121. But yeah, here they are up close. Both very, very cute. I think American Girl has done a wonderful job with this sculpt. I hope they continue to use it. But yeah, the more I'm looking at them, again, I think this one's head is a little bit more narrow and this head is just slightly more round. I think this might be the one I end up going with for the mini me because again, I think maybe doing like sort of a bigger head might make it look, I don't know, cuter to me. So yeah, while I love both of them, I think this one I might like just a little bit more and hopefully it's not the outfit that's influencing me on that, but yeah. Again, I just really love these. So that's gonna be it for today. So be sure to let me know in the comments what you think I should do as far as my mini me goes. If you have any ideas for him, I would love to hear them. Also, again, don't forget to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny for hours and hours and hours of extra content. And again, it's a really great way to support my channel so I can keep making videos. You can also shop at my newly revamped online shop at idreamofjohnny.com where I have a ton of merch like t-shirts, sweatshirts, cell phone cases, mugs, sometimes some vintage American Girl items. So be sure to check it out because again, it's a really great way to support my channel. If you want to keep hanging out, be sure to check out this video right here and I hope to see you there. Bye.